What is up, you guys? The name is China Connor. We're here again with some more Wi Fi battles from the Enter the Dragon type competition here. I'm using Final Cut Pro as editing software now. And I hope you all enjoy that. I hope that this narration isn't so bad or anything. I'm still trying to learn a couple of things, but. In the end, I'm making Wi-Fi battles still. Anyways, so we have to face our first opponent, who has a mono dragon type team. And that means more Mega Altaria for good, I guess. So Mega Altaria is going to be very useful in this battle for sure. I was, I was really surprised about this. Just having Rock Slide do that much damage. Unfortunately, I get flinched. But in the end, I dodged the Dragon Claw coming from Mega Salamence. So now he's forced to go for the Evil Claw here. And he goes for Sword Stance afterwards. But guess what? I'm going to just hit that Garchomp with that Moonblast because I noticed that Rock Slide is going to target both Pokemon. I don't want that. So we're going to get rid of that Garchomp for good. And then I, I probably should have just gone for a, a Dark Pulse instead of going for a Oblivion Wing. Yes, I get a little bit of health back, but it's not enough, really. And we take out Salamence. But, you know what, just going for Dark Pulse would have been a much better call, in my opinion. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, so, High Dragon, Shiny, and Flygon, who's also Shiny, is going to come in now. I don't know what to expect from them, but I was surprised to find that High Dragon has Flash Cannon. I did not see that coming. And he also has a berry to dodge, well not really dodge, but like take less damage from the fairy type move. But that's not going to save him apparently, because I one shot him right back. And he goes to fly. This China though, he's a little bit unskilled apparently. But that's fine, that is totally fine. I was a little bit surprised that he didn't target Altaria. I guess he thought that Evil Tall was a much better threat, but that means I'm going to go for Roost and get all that HP back. I'm Scarfed Mewtwo, so that means I'll have speed, and we just hit that Flygon right back, and guess what? The Yashi Berry is not going to save him either. I don't know what's up with that. I think my Pokemon are a little bit too strong there. Just saying. But here's the second Wi Fi battle. This battle, though, it was insane. Holy crap. Okay. So, I start using Altaria and Kiriyama this time against a Weavile and Kiram, who's White Kiram actually. So, White Kiram is on the field, and I was not sure what to expect. So, I stayed in, Mega Evolved with my Altaria, and it turns out this. Weavile is going to be a pain in the butt as it adds a little bit of support to my opponent. Because he goes for fake out on my Hariyama, and then he just one shots my Altaria in the face and knocks me out. That was a great play on my opponent's part. And here, Mewtwo really should have targeted the Weavile with an Aura Sphere, but I just go for Side Strike hitting White Kiram. But that was not a good play there because holy crap that knockoff is gonna blow my Mewtwo away and knocking out my choice scarf. Oh no, I'll never be warm ever again, I guess. I don't know. Anyways Kiram is gonna blow my Hiriyama away, I guess. We're not having a good time in this battle. I wanted to post it just because I just wanted to show you all how awful I am in this battle. <laughs> yes, so Icicle Crash is going to hurt my evil tall sum. At this point, it's a good game because I don't have any spread type moves. So it just doesn't matter at this point. So I lose this battle. Yes, definitely. I didn't even target any of my opponent's Pokemon there. In general, I guess, but yeah, it's fine. That's totally fine. All right, so this is my last Wi-Fi battle for the Enter the Dragon type. I'm going to keep using Mega Altaria against Mewtwo, 
Well, actually, not against Riku. I'm using Riku as my partner. What I'm really supposed to be saying is I'm facing against two flying type Pokemon here. We have Lugia, who's a psychic flying type, and then Talonflame, which you guys know about Talonflame already. Why would I want to talk about Talonflame? It's just so popular right now. Holy crap. Okay. Now, he protects, and that's, I guess, fine, but unfortunately, Lugia goes for the Icy Wind, and that actually is going to come into effect here. He goes into Mega Quasa now, and I'm just like, well, I am Choice Scarf. I could have gone for an Ice Beam predicting that, but yeah, Choice Scarf is going to not allow that. But I'm going to hit the Lugia with a foul play, and that was stupid of me. Should have gone for a Dark Pulse or whatever. But that's neither here nor there. I do a little bit of damage and that helps, but that's not going to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Okay. So I switch out. And I go into Altaria. But that was a bad play, I guess. We'll see how this fares out against the Mega Equaza. Which I really like the design of Mega Equaza when it's shiny. Just look at that color though. It's great. He goes for Dragon's Ascent, which, that's going to hurt my Hariyama. Okay, that's good. That is good. I didn't target my Mega Altaria. But you know what? I really should, I don't know. This is a tough tournament, I must say that. And you see just how, I'm going to say that this is a bulky Lugia, because I was expecting that to do a lot more than that. Holy crap. But he withdraws his Mega Rayquaza, goes into Thunderous for some reason. I'm not completely sure. I'm going to guess that he was probably expecting the Moonblast coming from my Mega Altaria, but no. I'm just going to go for Ice Beam and hit the Thunderous. He goes for, or in other words, he continues to go for the Icy Wind. And I am going to say that that is going to help out my opponent some a little bit there over time, but I love his special attack too. And that I'm not sure if that's going to matter, but um oh yeah, he has Braveheart, so never mind on the icy wing. I think it was just for the Mega Quasar. But for Calflame, he has Gale Wings, so why would he go for Icy Wing in the first place? Whatever. We're going to go for Ice Beam and knock out the Lugia afterwards. But, you know what? We still have to take care of Calflame and Mega Quasar. I don't know if we're going to win this battle. Because, yes, I have Evoltel still from the back. But, Mega Quasar could go for the Extreme Speed like he chooses to do against my Mewtwo for some reason. I'm not really sure. But that's fine. Brave Bird's going to just take out my evil call there. And I am going to knock out, I'm going to knock out his Mega Equaza, but not count for him. So, that was a good game there. It was close, it was close, I must say that. But in the end, I wasn't going to win this battle just because spread moves. I need to get more Pokemon with spread moves. Just having just Rock Slide isn't going to quite cut it for my Hariyama, but. Anyways, though, if you guys enjoy this battle video and my Ego Game software stuff that you probably noticed in this video, <laughs> well, hey, thank you for listening and thank you for watching and everything, and continue to watch my content in the near future.